Good morning, friends. Today's update is entirely from my conversation with my parents just a few minutes ago. And it's more like snippets than, you know, cohesive stories. Last night, uh, two rockets were shot down over Zaporizhia, where my parents live. Um, my parents said, we're glad they got shut down because we, we don't know where they might have fallen, what they were targeting. Uh, my dad has gotten so blasé, he didn't even bother going to the basement or even getting up now during the air raid sirens. He says, you know, I'm not going to do anything unless I hear actual artillery volleys. This is stupid. My stepmom still gets up and goes to sit in the hallway, which is the inner room with really good concrete walls, but he doesn't even bother getting up anymore. They are following stories of survivors, refugees coming from Mariupol and other cities occupied. The stories are horrific. Um, there is now a diary of a young girl, a teenage girl, who um, was keeping this this diary while they were holed up in a basement in Mariupol. Um, her mother died of starvation and dehydration. Uh, I think their father was killed during a um, a shelling. She and her little brother managed to escape. They are now, I think, either in Lviv or in Poland. Another family was escaping uh, in a car, and um, they got fired at. And everyone in the car, except a little boy, eight years old, was wounded because his sister shielded him with her own body. And as the Russian soldiers approached the car, the little boy jumped out and started yelling at them, basically cussing at them and saying, you dogs, how, how could you, why are you shooting at my family? Apparently some of the soldiers rediscovered their conscience at that point and started actually treating the wounded people in the car again, Fortunately, these people made it to Lviv. They're all now being treated in a hospital there. And uh, my parents also told me it's warm. And the flowers are blooming in front of their apartment building. The flowers that my, my stepmom planted because she likes to have flowers. Thank you for watching.